Welcome to Calgary, Alberta, home to one very overwhelmingly popular mayor. Who is this mayor? What makes him tick? And never mind this city, why do people all over the world like him so much? This week, the Mercer Report hangs out and then figures out the man they call Ninchy. And here I am in Calgary City Hall in the mayor's office with the mayor himself, Mayor Nahed Nenshi. Hello, Mayor. How are hey, you? Thanks for coming great, by. Great to see you, sir. You were just declared world mayor. So they say. Like, does that mean you're supposedly the best mayor in the world? That's apparently what the prize is we for. We will be the judge of that. Uh-oh. So we're going to hang out today. Okay. All right, let's go. Now, first of all, we're going to get you cleaned up. Cleaned up? That's what we're going to do. Oh, boy. Now, have you ever had a, a proper shave? I've done it a few when times before. When did you before. shave last? Um, like maybe 12 hours ago. Okay, see, you're like me. I call it Jason Kenny disease. Oh, that sounds awful. Because me and Jason, oh. it does, Is there a cream it? for that? <laughs> So me and Jason Kenney and our Solicitor General here in Alberta, Jonathan Dennis, we're all like Fred Flintstone. You shave and the next second, you look like you haven't shaved in a week. Oh, see, that's good. See, this is a good start of the day. Oh, Hot towel. Complaining. Everyone says how wonderful he is. But the only thing we really know about you is, is what you did after the floods. And so we know about that, but we want to know what makes you tick. Uh, I was born in Toronto. Yeah. But uh, when I was about... Oh, is that a secret? Uh, no, St. Mike's Hospital. I don't mind telling people. How long did you live there? Well, when I was about 14 months old, I was uh, really a prodigy, and I convinced my parents that the future was in the West. Oh, I see. And we needed to come out here. So I grew up here. Ever get thrown out of school? Mm, well, I cut a lot of classes. Oh, really? You know, I was cutting them in order to, like, you know, participate in, like, the Premier's Forum on Healthcare. Oh, you're a bad boy. I uh, went to the University of Calgary. What I... was your first rock concert? My first rock concert? Oh, oh, dear. I think the first concert I ever went to was Diana Ross. I don't think that counts as a rock concert. No, it does not. What was your second rock concert? <laughs> and we'll a... edit it to make it look like <laughs> Diana Ross wasn't your first. <laughs> This is cool. Isn't this cool? Very cool. Look at that. This is awesome. I know. That's a... H how do you tweet on that's it? That's a telephone, kids. Now, listen. Take a seat. That's got to go because he's got a busy day at City Hall, correct? I do. Am I is doing it you... supposed to be burning? Yes. Okay. It, has a, it has a warming <laughs> element to it. It's hot on the fingers. I can't imagine what it's like on your face. Hot. When you were first elected, it was big news all over North America because you were North America's first Muslim mayor. Mm -hmm. Do you know where it wasn't big news? Calgary. Calgary. Yeah, nobody cared. During the election, well, they it came knew up about once or you. twice. They kind of knew. They knew. But they, but they, you know, I remember the Calgary Herald published something about my ethnic background, and they got more phone calls to their newsroom on that mm -hmm. than anything else during the election. And all the phone calls were, who cares? Tell us what he thinks about transit. What is your Muslim election. philosophy on transit? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Sharia transit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put some cream on your face. We won't shave your lips, don't worry. <laughs> Just checking your hairline there. Thank there you. we go. This should be a new segment. Every week, I could sit someone in the chair. It could be you. It could be Jason Kenney. It could be the Prime Minister. And I could just ask them questions. I think this is a terrible idea. <laughs> you have no idea how jealous people of Toronto were of Calgary over the last year on the mayor front. Oh, I think Don't I'm let that go idea. to your head, because the bar was very low. <laughs> I mean, you went to work and stuff, right? The new mayor, I think, will do a terrific job. Oh, yeah, he's as dull he's... as dishwater. He's perfect. <laughs> That's probably oh, exactly yeah. what Toronto needs right oh, now. Oh, totally. And totally by the way, dull. he's not that dull. Oh, he's dull. Oh, he has a wicked sense of humor. Yeah. People in Toronto always think it's cold here, and it isn't. So nice. We're going to walk through Olympic Plaza and the Arts Commons and down Stephen Avenue Mall. Do people approach you on the street? Hi. Oh, yes, look, I'll just stand it's here. a great pleasure to meet What's you. What's your name? He's like a bird feeder for you. citizens. I voted for you. Oh, thank you. Mayor, so. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Do you know this guy? Yeah, yes. Nenchi. Nenchi. Do you know his first name? Uh, Nenchi. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Nope. We're going to run into a lot of people as we walk down this street. Apparently, we don't have to walk. We can it's just stand day. here. We could. Let's walk, though. Let's, Let's walk. See the city. I'm from the other end of the country, right? and we just hear that everyone loves the mayor so much. Why? It's true. Well, it's just because he's such a wonderful person and he's done great things for our city. How does this not go to your head? How do you not become a megalomaniacal mayor? Or what? maybe you are. Maybe I am. Are you? No. 
No, what I always remind myself is, look, this might be my 50th selfie with somebody today, mm -hmm. but this is probably their first selfie with the mayor. And let's make that a special moment for them. Great to watch you. Thanks a lot. Let's do it. Very good. Now, Mayor, I did say that you could talk about whatever you wanted, and you said you wanted to talk about the three. Go, the three. what's the three? The three stands for a very simple social movement called Three Things for Calgary. And all it is is encouraging every citizen every year to do three things for the community. Like? Could be big, could be small. Shovel your neighbor's walk, start a new nonprofit, run for office. And tens of thousands of people have done it for these tiny and large acts of community building. It's amazing, and I encourage every community to adopt it. You sound like one of those radicals the federal government's warning us about. I am radical because I believe in the power of human That's beings to change their program. community. Who could be against that? Thanks. It's made a difference to a lot of people. I can't argue. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks for the day. Thank you. You're watching the Mercer Report.